Lauren, somebody has got their radio on. Good evening, Sensei. I have a weird way this, this band works. And you are muted. I'm muted. Lauren, would you or one of the hosts please mute everybody except Sensei? Designed to get around the fact that we've got the radio on. All right. Uh, the way to do it is that instead of sending out cops to arrest We are not hearing you, Sensei. Instead of not hearing me. Random private citizens are invited. No, I'm, I'm hearing Sensei fine. It's just the additional. Um, uh, yeah, who's that? Well, I see that Jack Waters microphone is not muted. Oh. All right. Technical difficulties. Please stand by. Jack Water. Ah. Uh. <laughs> this is what happens when you even though you do a technical rehearsal and we confirmed everything was working just 15 minutes ago not are we okay no nope, we still don't hear you sensei i can hear sensei fine here it's in new zealand now, it's just you lauren only Lauren can't hear me. No, nope, okay. can't hear a thing. Tom, um, can you hear me? Sorry, wait, he's not on yet. I can hear you, so that's why you're coming fine. Okay. Yeah. That's this is Lauren. Awesome. Noah, can you hear me? I can hear Lauren. Yeah, can you hear Sensei? Everybody can hear me except you. TV again. We're trying again. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm suggesting that Sensei drop off and log back in. Uh, I, Lauren, I'm fine, people say. <laughs> Hello out there. Yes, David can hear you can clearly, hear even, even in part of I can hear you, Sensei. <laughs> I don't think Lauren is hearing us. Yeah, Lauren is screwing up, right? Everybody, Lauren is screwing up. Yeah, Lauren needs to reboot. Yes. yes. Correct. Hi. Should I write him a note, Lauren reboot or whatever? Okay. Apparently, I'm the only one not hearing Sensei, yes. so please proceed, yes. and I'll I'll yes. log off and come back. Thank sensei, you. please go ahead. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> ah, the holiday season must be coming at us. We're getting screwed up here. Ah, okay. Everybody on? Yeah. What's our count? And Twenty-nine. And I'm I'm back and I've solved my problem. So sorry, we're good. Yes, and Lauren, be slow on pointing the finger at others. I pointed in, I pointed the finger at the cloud. I. You know. <laughs> uh, what about sorry a moment? For the delay. Sorry for the delay. We're ready to go, Sensei. What about a moment here? There are uh, a, a couple of people, few people, whatever, on that I don't know who they are. Uh, I might like to know who you are, uh, what you do, what, why are you on the show, okay? So somebody who I don't know, you want to jump in and give us a moment? My sensei, we have David Campbell uh, coming in, opened his mic. Okay. Yes, hello, Nate, NATO sensei. My name is David Campbell, as Lauren uh, mentions. I'm a, a colleague of Lauren's wife, Tricia Gorman, through our St. Andrews Society of San Francisco. And uh, in our good conversation last week with Lauren, I was reminded of his uh, longtime training in Aikido, uh, as, uh, uh, as well as mine, not as, not as long. I trained with Hiro Shiro, Shiro Sensei in Mountain View and then San Francisco for uh, several years. And uh, although I'm not training physically at the moment, that practice and uh, passion is always with me. And I'm, uh, I feel privileged to be in this group and uh, in your company and uh, enjoyed very much last Friday's uh, virtual dojo. And I'm, again, as I say, I'm pleased and uh, honored to be here. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, David. 
I think I saw the Ian. Ian, are you out there? Did I get the name right? No. I'm sorry, Sensei, we don't have anyone named Ian tonight. Maybe I misread it. Or he, he dropped off already. Aaron? We have an Aaron. That's probably Susan. You have a Liam as well. Liam. Uh, we're Liam from New Zealand. Liam? Hi, Sensei. This is uh, Liam. I'm actually in uh, Northern California, okay. just a little bit north from you. Uh, I train at uh, Aikido of Petaluma with uh, Bob uh, Noah. Okay. What's your job? My job, uh, my job is I'm a performing artist. I've, uh, I currently teach uh, kids in music and, uh, and in theater. And um, before the pandemic, I also performed in um, the theater on stage and uh, and on stage as a musician. So that's uh, there's, a, there's a lot to be gotten out of Aikido and some of our work here uh, in your pr profession. Uh, I remember many many years ago, uh, a couple of college professors from two different colleges who were in the theatrical arts. I came from back east, wherever they were, and they spent a couple of weeks with me here in California uh, just to upgrade their stage presence, kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, they went through all that trouble. I guess they felt there was something, and I felt there was something. Uh, to okay. Yeah, we have quite a few musicians who've been around for some years. Thank you, Liam. Thank you, Liam. Thank you. Anybody, any other strangers out there? Nobody. Okay. All right. Uh, hang on a second. I'm going to turn the heater off here. Get you warm. Oh, sorry. Thank you. They just put a new, uh, what do they call it? It's not a stove. It's not an oven. It's a furnace. A furnace in today and uh, it's blasting me out. I'm not used to warmth in the house and living cold for a couple of years. <laughs> okay. Where the hell are we? Uh, I think the write up was mind body uh, number two. Mind body harmony number two. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to make sure we're kind of clear on that. Oh, here's a fantastic drawing. Uh, so <clears throat> we do historically a lot of simple practices uh, that are based on uh, mind body. So could we consider those a, okay, let's see. I'd like my arm to be a little, uh, no, keep it simple. Uh, I need a more sensitive hand. I'm gonna play the piano or I'm gonna massage somebody or I'm a surgeon or in my case, I just slap people around. Okay, so I want a little more something in the hand. Okay. Ah, simple idea. It feeds, using my language now, it feeds to its partner. We'll call that a pool of energy. There's a little pool of energy that heard that message and responds. There is a natural relationship connection between even little ideas and the partner energy, okay, the response energy. So I'd like to, you all got your hands out there? I'm gonna massage or I just need my hands to be finer tuned. 
uh, you're a diamond cutter, you're a piano player, whatever, whatever. You can choose the subject, okay? And, 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 boom, the energies are responding and they're flowing through the system to the hands, okay? My, for example, my fingers feel a little bit longer. They sense feel a bit longer. So if I look at them, they're the same size, but my senses, they're a little bit longer and they're a little more pliable. I've been sitting outside all day, it's been cold and, and they're suddenly kind of warmed up right now, or at least they can move a bit. <sighs> Repeat, easy. Ah, the idea is what well, more sensitive hands, whatever word you'd like. Sensitive hands, capable hands, whatever word you like, whatever your idea sense. Feeds to the energy. Energy is its partner, it responds. It's responding, easy. Ah, let it respond. Ah. If I'm still thinking a lot about whatever, I might be in the way of it. You've presented the idea, the request for help, whatever. I'd like to improve my hand, whatever. Here it comes, easy. It's on the move, easy. Easy. Easy, let it, let it. I'm starting to feel a little warmer. Yeah, my palm is lighting up a bit. Yeah. Okay, I think you got the sense. Give me a little feedback on that. That simple, nah, to nah, to here you are. Uh, hopefully, you had some results, some activity. Somebody help. Since they feel an activation in the body, it's just a, I went through the body to the hand, yes. And then I would pause for a second. And then the next time would be something different. Then it was the breath that would come in, like the breath was moving the hand. Breathing related to the energy movement. What's happening in the hand? See, the question was the hands. The hand. so, fine breathing and fine body. But what, what, what happened? That was the main point. Okay, the hand likes to spiral. It's just spiraling now. Just likes to enjoy the feeling, the sensation of the spiral. Okay. Uh, let's kick that back or, uh, yeah, spiral. But is there a word before spiral? What went on with the hands that it wants to spiral? There, what, what's the word before the spiral? I don't know. It's, a, it's connecting into the body and, and hand core yes it goes through the body yes yes but we're talking the hand okay. and let's isolate the practice a little bit and it is relaxing it's not holding anymore it's a lot okay. it's letting energy move through it it's allowing energy to move through, is that what you said? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, so if you are healing with that hand, energies are moving through. If you're playing the piano with that hand, energies are moving through, they pump the keys, I'm sure, better, more distinctly, whatever. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, somebody, in some change of the hands. Sensei, Linda Eskin here. Hey, you, Linda. Um, hi. My, my hand feels um, lighter, softer, like it sort of wants to float, float through space and explore. Yeah. So you understand what he was saying about it wants to, whatever he said. Uh, Viral. Yeah, like Viral. explore <laughs> its range of motion and yeah. be active. Active yeah. and, and receptive, more uh, able to... Feel. Okay, now if you were massaging, for example, part of the massage would be receiving information from their system and kicking back to touch them in the right place, whatever, whatever. So it has the ability of being receptive positive. 
Okay. Ah, okay. Somebody hands. Uh, Noah, what do you got over there? My palms started to get warm. And yeah. then as we went through the practice, it began to glow almost like a light was coming from the palm. Yeah, so very soon, Bob and I are going to take pictures being uh, Christian saints, or more than just Christians, right? We're going to have glowing palms. Right? Might take us a while to get to that point, Sensei. Hi, <laughs> Sensei. Yeah, it's a sensitive. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a sensitive air area. Uh, uh, you get hurt and you. Put your palm as you, as you can. Oh, I hurt. It, it, there's a little healing capability because that's a sensitive energy area. Uh, there used to be eye practices where you palm because it'll, at that level, more centered level, energies start to activate more through the body. And the palm is one of the, one of the majors. So it, it, it will, they're glowing right now in a circular fashion. They're glowing. Uh, a sense of little beams coming out. Mm. Oh, we've done practices where we have the hands come in to, together and, and we feel something at a certain level, settling, opening, the energies activate. And so when you play that hand, easy, settle, hand. Okay, slowly. You begin to feel some activity between the hands. Okay, yeah, we've done that practice, I think. A year ago, whatever Friday night. Also, now make uh, I would have a dark background. Say this is a darker piece of paper. And so I was doing that. After a while, as you settle, your eyes adjust to that dimension of energy, and you begin to see. At first, it's for I think the norm or the first norm is uh, you see this this white kind of beam. Okay, so it's a dark background. Uh, you're gonna see a beam. Bob, this is one of the ancient practices. Anything to add to that? Remember, way back in the day, we used to do that stuff. <laughs> uh, you gotta un unmute, Bob, uh, unmute. You would feel the buildup of energy between your hands. And if you used it for healing, as soon as you put your hand on the person, you could feel them start to relax and calm. It was sort of an energy version of easy with the eye for the person who's in pain or whatever. Uh, you were part of the group at the time, I believe, where we practiced seeing energy. Yeah. And that That's was right. one of the beginning practices with That's the right. dark background. Yes. Uh, we would turn the lights uh, off in the, or very low in the dojo nighttime. We we turn them very low so so that there was uh, a, a dark sense and they could begin to see something between the head, not just feel something, but be able to see something. Oh, I remember now. There'd be like little strings from the fingers, little white strings. And then there'd be a little thicker one from the palm to the palm. Yeah? Yes. Coming back to me. <laughs> anyway. So settling to a certain level where energies begin to move and settling at that same level and, and letting the eyes adjust to that frequency, the beginnings of seeing energy, okay? A certain level of energy. I'm not an aura seer, but I sort of see energy. Anything? Okay. Oh, where the hell are we? Anyway, uh, simple practice. Oh, yeah, the simple practice was the idea of having more sensitive hands, whatever word you want, sensitive hands, and the energy coming back through the body to the hands, and the hand should begin to change. Okay, and my fingers feel longer and more pliable. Uh, I can feel in the, uh, coming up soon, they're going to get stronger. I, I can sort of feel that building up someplace in the system. I can't explain that very well, but 
I just feel this, oh, soon it's going to be show its strength. Uh, it's strength. If you're a, a deep tissue masseur, you need some strength to dig in there. Uh, I'm sure, uh, I'm not a musician, but I'm sure a piano player needs some strength uh, of, of the fingers as he hits those, as the keys get, get hit. Da 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 da. Ah, are, are we okay so far? So, a very simple warm up to the relationship of the idea to the energy that responds, okay? As an actual, as an actual. Um, what am I trying to say here? The idea or awareness sometimes wants to hang on to the control and it'll be aware of the word experience. And the experience ought to be this and experience ought to be that. And, and it's like, yeah, but it's not really the experience itself, the experience, the kickback of the energies into an actual experiential thing. The awareness becomes aware of, oh, it should be experience. I'm going to be aware of an experience but it's still in the awareness mind part. It's not really the presence of the stuff, experienced stuff. I don't know if I said that well, but I'm just trying to reiterate certain important things, trying different words, different angles on it. You know, Bob, I, I use the example with, with the keyboards and this, there, there's almost like a shift from the, I, I, the musician, play wanting to play the keyboard to the hands uh, saying I got this as as if the hands are now in charge not that the rest of me isn't when you play something Boy, but yeah. still the, yeah. the hand hands really take yeah. uh, dominance there kind of like a let go control of the awareness I whatever right. let the this part of the partnership take over yeah yeah uh, hey, Sensei? Yo. Can you hear me? It's Diana yeah. in Florida. I'm in a car, so it's in a convertible. No, you're so, fine. I, I, just a quick story. Harvey Moskowitz and I were teaching uh, some kind of workshop, and we were doing the, the hand thing you were demonstrating, you know, feeling energy between your hands. Right. And one woman looked up and she said, how much should you feel? And Harvey, the, the engineer, without blinking an eye, looked at her and said, 12. And she immediately went back to feeling 12 between her hands. It's, <laughs> I just thought that was great. Harvey was could be funny. He had a very interesting sense of humor. Uh, for those of you who don't know Harvey, he was an, a student from way, way back. Uh, okay. So where do I want to go? Uh, now, uh, we did, I wonder if I should stand and do an arm extension. Let, let me do a one standing arm extension, the old basic arm extension. Uh, okay, everybody, arm extension, okay. Now, uh, what do I want here? Idea. Well, maybe I'll have Brad do the old bendy arm thing. Uh, okay, you like a stronger arm? Close enough. That idea, touches for lack of words, is pool of energy, the partner to the idea. And the idea responds through the system important through the system otherwise just an idea and yes it's responding and here it is it, you stay in the idea part so you want to double check that and then double check the double check presentation of an idea concept a need a desire whatever word you want to use i could say help and it's responding properly to the situation okay Stronger arm, 
he's going to bend it. You don't need to add details. This is intelligent stuff. Intelligence is a major in creation. And it responds to that. Keep the body open, settled open, so it, it's present flowing through the whole body, through the arm, through the arm, okay? Now, I can tell what level I'm at if I were, I'm raising my arm. That would clue me in that it's not enough to stuff itself, to stuff its up arm, okay? Or neck is arm. The idea, problem, has been presented. The partner responds through the body. It's responding through the body. Ah, through the body. Oh. Uh, my arm feels stronger. Well, feels a little straighter and a little bit sense of longer. Now, if I look at it, it's still the same length arm, but the feeling or the sense feeling it's longer, okay? Doesn't stop here, goes out further. Okay, easy. One more. Be prepared to tell me uh, how your arm improved. We presented the problem. I need a stronger arm, whatever, whatever word. He's going to bend my arm. I don't want him to. That's the game we're playing. And, and, and. I don't have to tell anything more to the energy. I open and allow them to be who they are at this level, doing what they do at this level. I don't need mental control continuing. Okay. And it's flowing through. Flowing through. Yeah, it feels like it's pumping a bit. Ah, almost like it's inhaling and exhaling itself. <laughs> exhaling. Okay. Boom. Hold. Okay, let's double check. Anybody get anything that they could sense, feel, experience about the arm? Hi, Sensei, this is Justin in Miami. I, uh, hi, uh, it, it, it became not so much a collection of muscles and bones, but an integrated, solid, full structure, solid arm, not just some pieces of anatomy, but it was, there was a fullness there uh, that was uh, integrated yeah. in a way dif differently than before. Yeah, let me jump in. So. There might be an earlier level where you feel, oh yeah, there's the bicep, oh, there's the elbow, whatever. Oh, forearm, it might be that level. You're, you're starting to feel the body parts. Nothing wrong, it's a level. But at a finer level, what Justin's talking about is where the whole thing is one thing. I would say for me right now, if you say pipeline, that would be closer to the truth. Yeah, it does feel like a straight flowing pipeline. For example, okay, so that would kind of tell me where I'm at because on a normal day, if I just stick my arm out, I, I don't have a pipeline. I have an eh, ah, ah, arm. It's okay, it's the level I'm at. Ah, settle a bit, different level, and you want to highlight arm so you present a situation or say, help, here it comes. Ah, let it flow through. Easy, open, so it can flow through freely. Ah, ah, there, better. Okay. Oh, okay. And it's, uh, what can I say? Making little corrections. It's sort of saying to me, uh, now, though, you notice it's getting a little tight there in the back of the shoulder, it's getting a little stuck there. Settle down again and open. So open, let it, let it come in through the back. Boom. So it's not me frontally flowing. It's almost like it flows through me. Okay? Kind of thing. Blah, blah, blah. Anybody with a different arm? 
feel free to open mic. Tell me about yeah. it. Yeah, Sensei, it's Tom. Hey, Tom. I um, my my sensation of my arm was that it it was it it was solid. It was through, but it was not alone. I it was a balance with the other arm behind me that was <laughs> balancing the energy. Feel the energy flowing through the back foot, through my core. But the thing that that really woke me up was the fact that my arm was not alone. It's connected to the rest of my body, and there was a balance with the other arm behind me. I always remember that on the mat when yeah. you exercise. As we open up, the more of things. So there's not an arm alone, but there might be that first moment of that. As you continue to open up, it begins to add things like, are you noticing the hips are supporting the arms? And are you noticing the back part supporting the arm? Oh, the ground feet ground feet up through the body supporting the arm. So uh, it becomes integrated, which right. will actually happen with a little more room, allowing the system. That's its naturalness. It will support itself if allowed. Okay, but we get to use our mental wrong. We interfere and clog up the pipeline of the flow. Uh, and so it can't really do what it would like to do because you're you're uh, fearful about something or you're busy <clears throat> uh, talking about what you need or what you want or in some form you're interfering. Easy, clear. Let it do what it's going to do here. Okay. Yeah, something like that, Tom. Yeah. All right. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Sensei, hey. this is Patrick. Hey, Patrick, how are you? Hey, Sensei. Yeah, in that same vein, <clears throat> it felt as though the arm wanted to find its sort of natural resting place that was in relationship to the rest of my body. It wanted yeah, to find sort of the natural position to be in relative to everything else. Yeah, a kind of like uh, the flat word. The arm says, "Oh, you want me to hang out here for twenty minutes or something?" And if you say yes, we have to hang out here for twenty minutes. Uh, it will adjust itself, uh, center itself better, ground itself better, do something to sustain a twenty-minute extension. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, it just along the lines of what Tom was saying that it's kind of integrated with everything else and not just kind of positioning itself the way it wants to be, but in relation to the rest of my body. Yeah, yeah there's real intelligence here. Uh, the mind awareness part is tries to control everything because it thinks it's the intelligent. I've got to figure this out and then I got to do it. No, just lay the problem out and the other partner, the other half of the whole thing, can come into play. And as you're easy and allow it, it comes into play more and it'll show its intelligence, its ability to, to add things like uh, from one moment to, oh, 20 minutes, give me a moment. This is the body talking with itself. And it sets itself up to be comfortable for 20 minutes. Did I say yeah. anything intelligent there? Yeah. I hope. No, another piece of it for me was I found that sort of the poundage of it, like a 10 pounder, 12 pounder, whatever, hmm. the poundage of it wanted to sort of equilibrate with the rest of my body and not be, not be a 20 pounder in the arm and a 12 pounder in the body, but yeah. kind of reach yeah. a equilibrium. Yeah. This is an early, could we say an early layout of harmony? You know, we're at just a sort of a, a present physical level, but it's trying to show the harmony, how things line up and, and work together and balance each other out and all of that stuff. Uh, based on, yes, a harmony is another universal presence, great power, great love, great intelligence, great harmony. It's like those are the four greats. You, couple of those you could change the words if you want uh, but yeah they're 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 there and the more we settle and open we're 
make ourselves available to them or they can show that they're present. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, where the hell are we? Oh, one thing we did uh, last week, uh, we did calm, calm, right? We, we requested, we had an idea about calmness. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, should I call Susan? Susan, you on? Uh, you're, you on? Yes, Sensei. Good evening. Susan, uh, we talked a bit uh, since last week, and uh, let's see if I, I'm going to paraphrase you here. Uh, you were playing with that calmness. The idea is I, I need calm. I want calm. Calm would be nice. And there's a, I'm calling the pool of calm, the partner to the idea, the stuff. Okay. And you're talking about hanging out longer and deeper with that. You want to dialogue that for the troops? Sure. Yeah, as I often am, I was doing my usual four-hour Friday night. Uh, Susan? I, yes. Your voice is a little sharp. Uh, change your mic or something. Move, you can move closer. Move closer, closer, move to, the closer to the microphone, please, Susan, if you can. How's this? Not better. Can you hold the phone in your hand? Are you actually, are you safe? I, actually, I can't get any closer to it. <laughs> that is better. That is better. Okay. Right there. <laughs> thank you, Susan. All right. Okay, thank you. Now, what did so, you do? I was on my usual four hour Friday night driving commute. And I just have to say how much I am always amazed and delighted with how quickly the system responds. And I think it was Noah that said, you know, you don't have to have any special training to do this. You don't have to have a special location. You know, in my car, I just asked for, okay, what else can the system show me with calm? And immediately, it was a deep, deep, deep calm that showed up. You know, the image was something like very, very deep caverns that haven't been disturbed for thousands of years. And won't be disturbed for thousands of years. And the depth of it really caught me by surprise and how quickly that showed up. Yeah. Uh, Susan, let me cut in for a sec. Sure. Uh, so it's not her squashing herself down in her car seat to get deeper. It's a sense, inner sense, there's scads of room deeper with that uh, uh, quality, deeper. And it, sh and it caught her attention because it from the get-go showed deeper. And she went on that journey of uh, sensing the depth. Okay, so far, Susan, and? Yes. And the next level that showed up was also quite fascinating. It was a level of connection with the calm of the earth around me and the country around me. And I want to say a depth of connection with that calm that I yeah. don't know that I have felt before in that way. Yeah. Uh, let, that's good. Let, let's change the words there or try to explain what's going on best we can. Uh, deeper inner calm experienced. And who oh, what to say that calm experience uh, touches itself or its brothers and sisters, the calmness of the countryside. I don't know how to say that. The calmness and all calmness around there they start to uh, 
I don't know, as if a calm person going into an excited party could pick up another calm person. Is that too dumb an example? Calmness will pick up other calmness. Susan, help me here. <laughs> that, no, that was that was very good. And it, you know, again, it surprised me so much. I thought, well, let me double check this and I'm gonna check um, my system. I'm gonna kind of bring it back to the car and the dog was sleeping on the passenger seat next to me. And there was, again, a sense of connection of my calm and his calm and a relationship uh, between our calmness, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say, I think. Yeah. So again, a calm person in a busy place, uh, bumping into another calm person, they kind of know there's a relationship. They might acknowledge each other. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. Susan, yes. you, you just, finished? Uh, yeah, that was good. It was just amazing how how beautifully, how naturally, how quickly the system responds. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, Gina, I might call you in about the one that you did in a minute. Uh, but let, let me go over this here. Uh, what I wanted to mention was that our, our little arm games and uh, uh, even the first simple on calm, uh, Those are like warm ups. Okay. Uh, so you get the pattern and you get the practice of it, of how to uh, experience the flow back, kick back from the idea to the stuff, not interfere with the stuff, allow the stuff, partake of the stuff, make sure you're not aware still. It's really the experience. Now, careful, I have an aware, awareness of the word experience. Not quite enough experience yet. You do it again, and you start to get a little something. Oh, I'm experiencing it. Now we must play the percentage game. Yeah, but let's call that maybe 10%. Let's see, let's see. The idea now, the fuller of the experience. The fuller of the experience. So... Pump some pumps there for a while because the awareness intelligence factor likes to take it over and jump the gun. Ancient problem, people. You ain't the only one. It's ancient. Okay. It's like a percentage game. Did I say that? Oh, okay. No. No. Okay, Bob. Okay, Bob gave me the okay. So anyway, we, we use simple practices just to get this game going. Okay. Uh, let's see. Then very quickly, once you once you get the actual practice, uh, uh, same pattern, but don't be holding it. Little idea and a little energy, a little idea and a little energy. Don't don't lock it in. You can have a, a little bit size wise, uh, uh, a bigger idea. Uh, careful how you say that. Oh, I need a big idea. I, I I don't mean it that way. But whatever idea you have is bigly being presented down to let's put it here the pool of energy that's its partner. Those two are partners, okay? Uh, so I don't keep locking it in tightly. We do some of those just to start the game, to get a flavor of how it works, learn a few tricks of the trade, uh, but then bigger, bigger, okay? So uh, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Mike, uh, New Zealand? You on? Yes, I. 
I'm not putting you down. I'm just using your example from last week. You were talking about calmness, and then uh, I don't remember your pattern. I'll just say, I'll just make this one up. Uh, and your face was got calmer, and then your whatever got calmer, and then your whatever got calmer. No problem. No problem. But let's not continue uh, small things. We do a few in the beginning to get the sense of it and double check. But then let's pick up the pace and do boom, to cut a bang. Okay, so I'm, we'll do one more calmness. So on this calmness, the whole body, Mike, as an example. Right. Okay. I mean, you saw it worked. What? So there's no problem with what you did. You, you said uh, an idea of calm, and then suddenly some part of you was calmer. Cool. And then you double checked it. Some idea of calm, and more of you was calm. You did it a third time. So you, you had feedback. Say, oh, this works. It's working. Okay? All right. Now, uh, let's forge ahead. Let's pick up the pace kind of thing. Is that okay? So now, everyone, let's do a calm again. Uh, again, however you start the idea. I'm nervous. I would like to be calm. Uh, I would like to be calmer. Uh, I would like to really go deep into calm like Susan did. That piqued my interest. Gee, I would like to feel, if I can, that depth of calm. What, whatever, you're, you're, you, however you set it up. Okay, it could be, I'm not calm, I'm not calm, help. Is that easy? The word help to the pool of calm. This has been set up. Don't worry about it anymore. Certain amount of calm is there, but I can't feel it yet. Yes, of course you can. It's a percentage game. It's a sense of, and it's reacting back. I'm not sure if I felt it. Maybe I'm making it up. Stop it. Calm. Ooh, something's changing. The little part of me says, but I didn't make that up. Stop it, stop it. My, my breathing is trying to change. My, it almost feels like my heartbeat is, is trying to adjust somehow. I can't explain that, but something's going on. Oh, the breathing is going very deep. <clears throat> Starting to be a sense of at least this immediate area is calmer. Easy, easy. Sense feel. Don't start thinking about it. And I'm hearing other words in there quiet, peaceful. Just a sense of those words is here. Getting more feeling. It's like I'm laying back on a big pillow or something, a mattress that's supportive, something like that. You can sort of uh, not feel it, sense, feel that calmness. And I'd say right now, gee, I think maybe calmness has some supportive capability in it. It's my sense. Okay, so that was my sense. You guys, what's your sense of the idea, the desire for, the cry out for help? Calmness by law has to be present. It's an original law. Somebody, anything on the calmness game? Uh, Sean here. Hey, Sean there. So um, I, I, I like what you're saying and the okay. idea of, of thoughts um, and just letting go of those, refraining from the storyline, like, like 
quiet down the, 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 the whole narrative and just get in touch with the vitality of breath and the subtleties that that includes. And that's eons of yogis and, and you know, masters and all that crap. But it's like, it's, it's all comes down to the breath. If you can get in touch with that, then you're in touch with the same lineage that all these guys have been in touch with. And hey, it's- now, Sean, I'm gonna cut you here. Yep. We're very descriptive and very whatever. Yep. Bring it back to the base. What's your experience of so, calm actually? So, so that, that, that calmness also has with it almost a sense of electrification like a, a sense of uh, uh, um, okay. and, and I'm going to cut you in again and yep. let's not talk about it let's, let's give, give me a personal yes you okay. say, you you as the experiencer say whatever you're saying refreshed in, like this calmness I'm is, refreshed I'm refreshed I am, I am completely I. renewed it's like uh, like do, jumping into a pool of of per, pool perfect clear water and it's just renewing refreshing nice picture nice picture stay yep. with this strongly and, it, and it's like it's it's electrifying it's it's pulsating it's it's generative it's it's emanating from my every cell of my being and that's that's uh going out and out and out that's i don't know it's a it it just make sure, all i'm trying to say is make sure it's the experience and not a dialogue about the experience you got it you at got which it. time we'll lose the experience or it becomes an idea and, yep. and it can't hold yep yep it it, it uh uh, it will dissipate, no, I'll say would say, it'll break up and disappear fast. I the think actual experience can hold and sustain in hard times, so to speak. So, so here, here's my, my thing is that there's a naturalness to the breath and connecting to the breath that is, that goes beyond anything that anyone else can say. It's all about actual, oh. actually experiencing it. That is um, the, the, the core of it, the essence of it. Okay. That's undeniable. Okay. And we could say, yes, a breath is a major, been around a long time. Uh, and that's your major, maybe so. Okay. Careful of promoting it in such a way that that's it. Nobody else. That's it. <laughs> Uh, some people won't use a breathing form. Yep, yep, yep. Gotcha. I know it's an ancient one. I did a lot of breathing practices back yep. in the day. Uh, yep. Moon likes it. Uh, 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 Wada likes it. Uh, I'm coming around again after all these years at a different level of it. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, but careful of... You gotta do that that way. If you're not Catholic, you're doomed. All you Protestants, forget about it. But I think that 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 that's that's the thing is that the, the breath with the cool calmness is the, is the is what what that marriage that that mix is what's so um, yeah. uh, Again, maybe that's the harmony. That's yeah. the that's the magic. Okay. I'm just saying. Just careful how you present that to people. Yes. Don't be a Catholic with a bunch of Protestants, <laughs> old time Catholic, with a bunch of Protestants. Okay, you yeah, like it. If you can introduce it to them and yep. they're sort of can catch it a bit, great. Thank you, Sensei. Thank mm -hmm. you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Ah. So I'm, I'm breathing with my hands. If you say breathing, it's, I don't know what you're talking about. But this is my form right now of breathing. It all goes in, it all goes out. Goes into a finer level, 
ah, comes out at a finer level. So somebody may say, I don't need breath. I move my body around or something. Okay, so anyway, be, be a little, whatever. Somebody, ooh, eating up the time. Uh, oh, okay, I wanted to do a different quality out. Oh, let me see if I did any notes on it. We did calm. Um, and, uh, sensei, you had asked for Gina to be on standby? Oh, okay. yeah. Gina. Uh, Gina, you uh, went into depth with uh, uh, the, uh, let me paraphrase you here, I remember. Uh, the next day you were running around, you didn't feel like doing calm. I think you chose uh, courage. Yes, I did. Yeah. And, and, and she got into a deep, kind of in a very similar form, fashion, or sense of it that uh, uh, Susan was talking about by going into deeper calm and deeper calm. Uh, Gina, you want to? I, just, I went down, I like you say, pumped it five times, which I've never done that before. And it was astounding. It really was. I mean, I get to one level and go, what else could there be with courage? And then there'd be more, bigger. <laughs> so you hit a level of courage. You're experiencing it. Any yes. mem memory of what the sense of that experience at the first no, I level. don't. I must have been so in shock. I don't yeah. remember. I know it was astounding. And then I went back the next day. <laughs> remember? And okay. It wasn't oh, anyway, <laughs> let's stay with what you're saying. So, concept or idea or desire, courage. Ah, it's that to be some flavor that she recognized as a bit the flavor, sense of courage. Okay, so far? Yes. Yeah. And I asked her to uh, not just do one to one, but because uh, uh, this is fast and easy, but this one takes a little exercise at first. Mind is fast. Body is not stupid, but it has its own tempo. So the energies at first are a little slower. Okay. At first. Okay. Later, everything split second eventually, but don't worry about that now because uh, you'll do it in your idea. I have an idea and it's all here. And you're still in your idea. There's been no experience. Anyway, so courage. And I asked her to pump the pump. Easy, deeper sense, courage. Feeling like there's more, if not on the second one, definitely on the third one, a sense of more courage. No, no memory of what the more of it was? The sense of it? The... The whole consistent message was that the, the courage would like give you the courage to be powerful as you are. It, it supported power. Yeah. Okay, so starting to unfold itself. Yes, I'm courage and I'm the baseline, the support of power or power supports me one or the other in there. Uh, so you got courage. You need some power to have courage, and courage has power. Power has courage. Something like that is getting fuller and fuller. Yes. Yeah. To itself is adding words and and uh, kind of like the body did earlier. Uh, put the arm out, and after a while the back comes in to support the arm, and after a while the hips come in to support the back supporting the arm, and after a while the ground feet support come in to support the back that supports the who's it that supports the what's it your knee bone connected to your whatever bone right you know the song yes okay uh so yeah that happened a long time ago in the beginnings of creation natural support everything in relation to each other kind of thing anyway uh so uh very good for gina too uh Choose a topic on her own. Uh, inquire about it down deeper. Let it show. Experience as it's showing. Okay. And then again, pump the pump so there's fuller experience. It's a percentage game. So here's your first sense of courage. And there's a little flavor, we surmise, that she had. And she pumped it again. And it was percentage-wise, a bit more of courage present that she was sensing, experiencing. She pumped it again, percentage gain. It was more and more what backed up or was partner to courage, 
Oh, power and courage and courage and power. It's a percentage game, people. It's not a one-shot thing. Okay? Okay. See, El Centro was very fast after a while. ba 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 bang. Uh, but we're in the earlier stages of, of catching the tricks of the trade and how to play with this and, and open up the channels and allow and stuff like, like that. So I like this one idea to five pumps, could be 10 pumps, uh, but just watch out this one idea and one pump, it, the percentage is too much into the idea. You see, is, did I say that right? It's kind of important. If I haven't said it right, I'll come back on it again another time because it's critical. The pump. You don't have to keep going back to the idea. You can. Now the pump, the pump, the stuff itself activating and moving. The pump, easy. Pretty good, pretty good. But sense but just more. I don't have to say that the more is there, it'll show. Ah, ooh, ooh, wow, it's a whole lot behind me. I can sense, feel that. Whoa, I'm experiencing that. My percentage is increasing, okay? Critical. Yeah? Bob? Okay. Bob's my check-in guy. If he gives me the okay, I know it's like, okay. Ah. Uh, Okay, we want another word. Uh, so I think I jotted some possibilities. That was on the right page. Okay. What about uh, an alive looking body character? I want to be more alive looking, feeling. Uh, it's kind of like, I know most of you are getting, many of you are getting older, sorry. Uh, but if you can recall going out on the date, you want to, you'd like to glow a bit. You'd like to ah, be fresh looking, uh, alive looking for the date. You know that, that feeling before you went out on a date, how you'd like to look? Is that, is that too big a reach for, for us? <laughs> you got the game? Okay, so what should we call that? A live looking, a live feeling, uh, a glowing look, something like that? Come up with your own words. Now you got the flavor, come up with your own words. I would like, or help, I'm going to this important meeting. I got to stand out a bit. Help. Trust the system. You don't have to give it details. And I want my teeth to glow and I want my eyes to smile. You don't have to tell it details. This is intelligent stuff. You said help. It's going to be there. It's a law. It's a law. Settle it open. So it has room to flow through and manifest. It's present. Settle, open. I get into the deeper, finer of it, and it flows through. It responds back out. Okay, y'all got the game? You want to sparkle, whatever your word. And here it comes. It's a certain percentage. If you can't pick up anything yet, sure, we just started. It's almost like 1%. But I trust the game, and, and. Next level of it. <clears throat> I'm feeling just a little bit fuller, for example. Okay, percentage is increasing a bit. Okay, continue.
Okay, I'd like to stay longer on that, but our time is running. Ah, okay, mine as an example. Um, a lot of like warmth and this feeling more alive, whatever, warmth. And I noticed it was equal to my facial. So if I were gave a warm look to somebody, it's not makeup bullshit. It this this and my face were the same. It was truthful. It's not some guy, well, I'll make off. Hi there, how are you? What's your name? It's not bullshit stuff. This and that were the same. This is this is me. Glad about that. Somebody help, help. What's your aliveness? What's your look? Feeling prior to the date where you leave your house saying, yes, tonight's the night. Help. I sense it. This is Justin. I, 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 I immediately noticed as the energy was coming up that there was a softening of my face and a natural smile and my chest was filling out a bit and the energy was rising up and filling my chest natural uh, a natural, comfortable face, smile, chest yes. filling. Yeah. I had a bit of that one, so that's what I was trying to say. It's it natural. So your smile is natural. You're not making off like. Yeah. And a little chest air. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm male and I'm present. Yes. Good for the little fellows to have that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, Tom, you're maybe involved in a dating game. Help us here. Tom. It's, uh, hold on, let's see. Hi, Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> I like the clearing, the practice of clearing. You know, if I've got if I'm getting ready to go on a date or meet someone I want to be with, carrying a lot of baggage with me doesn't really help. So I like the practice, the simple practice of clearing my, my energy and feeling, uh, you know, with that comes breath, a calming breath, and feeling my own energy in the space that I'm in. Yeah. Let me cut in here. So if you're carrying baggage or you're a little, your pipelines are a little cloggy. Uh, yeah, you can still do this, but it's got to work because you're kind of cloggy. So I, I like that clearing, clearing, clearing. So you're clean slate as best as you can. You, we, we know you're not going to be a perfect clean slate, but anything clearing will help. Clearing, clearing, clearing. So that when this energy comes up, when this dot, dot, and here comes the energy, it's a little easier to flow through because it doesn't have to deal as much with those clogs or all those things you're hanging on to. Yeah. So yes. good trick. Good trick. Yeah. And remember, good trick at these levels that we're playing will probably continue and continue and continue. Is that clear? Because we're going to go finer. We still have to go over and spend some time with the domain. Uh, and, and there's more past that. We'll let that go for now. Uh, but for example, uh, easy the eye. Uh, easy the eye, you can go through the whole manifest creation with it, all the levels. Easy the eye. And when you get past the manifest as we know it into the domain, uh, which is still there, but it's, it's much finer. Uh, a type of easy, the eye, but it may, words may change there. It's self, easy, the self, which is just a continuation of easy, the eye. So if you've got a good trick here, it probably will continue and work at finer levels. Thank God. Because if every time you made a move, the rules change, it'd be total insanity. I mean, you think what you see is insane. If it, it, it didn't follow its own patterns, it would really be crazy. 
So thank God uh, there is continuation with a good trick, with a good process part, like easy the eye. Continue, easy. Uh, don't know if I said that well, but again, it's kind of a major. We'll touch on it sometime or other again, if need be. Somebody, we're getting eating up a time here. Uh, thank you, uh, Tom. Anybody have a real wow one? Come on, you're getting help. I'm going on this important date. Help. Da -da. Come on, talk to me. Uh, you know, Bob, I, I had to reach reach back into long ago dating life. Yeah, I, that probably wasn't the right one to use with some of you. Yeah, but, oh, but you know, I remember long ago, you, you used to talk about actors who'd go on stage and they'd feel that stage fright, the nervous energy, and all that was was the energy to do the, to do the job. Yeah. And, you know, if I had a, a real important or, you know, a date where I really wanted to make the impression, there was a, ner a nervousness, a little stomach queasiness, all that stuff. And, and this is long before, you know, I met you and we had any processing. And we explained what was going on. <laughs> right. Yeah, I had no idea. I wish I knew then what I know now. But yeah, yeah that's what it is. It's like, hey, you got a date. You want to make, make a good appearance. And here it is to do it. Just yeah. enjoy it. Eat yeah. the energy, so to yeah. speak. See, the shame of not knowing simple things like energy response and to recognize the energy and, and how you respond at different levels. Uh, uh, you make up stories. You're starting to, there's a date coming up and you're starting to get queasy or something. You make up stories. Well, maybe I shouldn't go on this date. Maybe I really don't like her. Uh, uh, maybe I should be a bachelor forever. And you make up bullshit stories. Da 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 da. How sad. How sad. It's just a simple energy movement. No one taught us in kindergarten or first grade or grammar school what an energy flow was. So you got no good sense of it, okay? Uh, but it's very natural and very part of everything. And, and that's part of what we try to teach. Be open for the energies, recognize them, don't misunderstand them and make up secondary and on stories, insanity. Thank you for that. Uh, we're running toward the end. Anything important? Somebody. I so felt this fantastic. Is... Yes. Who? Who that? Patrick. Patrick. Oh, yes. Yes. yes now me. that you're on your famous dating time, Patrick, how are you doing? <laughs> just fine. Thank you. I just, you know, wanted to share what came up for me. It was a similar feeling as Justin mentioned of something coming up through the chest energy and then flowing out from the chest outward and from a feeling of being relaxed and present and wanting to offer myself, um, offer and to offer myself. I'm here, gives a sense of I'm willing to share. I'll make up stuff here. Uh, I'm available, you want to talk about something? I'm here and I'll listen. And it, there's a lot of messages going out in, in that, which could be well received by, in your case, the lady. Anyway, yeah. time went by so fast tonight. We have one more next week, <clears throat> uh, and then we'll take a couple of weeks. Um, <clears throat> we should, a lot of things to cover, but we should, we talked about self in the domain. Uh, we should uh, probably make a stab at that one uh, again. Been hearing from a couple of people and they're, they're starting to get some experience there and some wow there. Uh, so uh, we'll see, but I'd like to touch on that because it's an, 
not the end of the step along the way, but a kind of a major. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Anybody, anything? I'm finishing up. Anybody? Anything we did tonight? The idea comes up the energy. Sensei, um, I, I enjoyed hearing some inferences about the transformation of energy and our will to transform the energy that we're experiencing. We, we recognize it as fear and turning it into something positive or recognizing it as anger and saying, okay, it's just energy. I remember you always saying, okay. You know, hold it there, Tom, for a moment. Hold it. Yes, okay. Sensei. Tom, hold it a moment. All right. I, I don't know if I like the word transforming because it makes it sound like the stuff is bad and I am going to transform it into good. Right. Like, no, no. Yeah. Think of it as in a tight space, anything good could look shitty potentially because you're in that dimension. Okay. And even beautiful things can get ugly. Okay, as you settle and open and settle and open, you're seeing the truth of those qualities. They're beautiful, but in their finer of themselves, and we're supposed to experience finer of that. So we experience, oh my God, I'm a self. I'm, I'm that level. I am. Uh, uh, so I don't like the word transform that shit kind of thing. Uh, it's a matter of what's the, what's the reality. Okay. Again, the games, Tom, look at the games. It's shit. Easy. Settle. What is it really? Oh my God. It's fertilizer. Well, it still stinks, but it's better than shit. Okay. But I don't want to smell fertilizer all night. Easy. What are you really saying? Who are you really? What's the next level of you? And it's uh, maybe, uh, let's see, uh, uh, vitality, life-giving. I, that was fertilizer, am showing my level of life-giving. Wow, life-giving. Yes. Who would have thought shit is life-giving? And you continue and you continue. So you're not transforming. You're getting to a finer dimension of truth, of reality. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I say the say what game is one I, I, I use. It's a, not all oh, you're an asshole. I say, okay. Uh, say what? I heard I'm an asshole. I know I'm an asshole. I've already told you I'm an asshole. But say what? And I'm hearing something like, not though you could do a bit better. Okay, fine, easy. Uh, say what? Oh, no, we're going to make Sean happy. It says breathe deeply for a while here. Settle and breathe. Settle and breathe. As I do that, it feels a little calmer, nicer flavor. It's just a sense. Okay, again, easy, easy. Say what? What are you really saying? Some sense here. Not though you're a a truer soul, uh, a pure soul. But it'd be nice if you spend a little more time, at least at this level, experiencing yourself as a pure being. And on and on and on. So that's a say what game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you really? Let me experience you in the next dimension of you, in the truer dimension. Finer dimension, whatever words you you your sense you 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 like. Uh, so you come up with your own games based on that. Yeah, that I cut you off maybe before you finish, Tom, or you got something there? No, no, that's good. I mean, it's um, it's not denying the energy. It's not trying to. How do I say this? I'm looking for the right words. Okay, here's an example. I was in college once. Uh, well. Yeah, <laughs> once, <laughs> once, once upon a time, um, my friend 
asked us all to be a part of his play and he had us set out along the campus. So my role was a fellow and I'm supposed to be angry at Desdemona. Students are coming up and I'm on this little platform and I'm shaking with fear. I'm thinking, I, I just don't know if I can do this. I can't remember my lines. And suddenly the energy that I had that I called fear, I turned into the passion of Othello and I was able to deliver the lines, but I had to take a moment to recognize, okay, I'm nervous. I'm really feeling unsettled here. Just breathe for a moment. You could take the same energy that I was feeling and use it. So transforming isn't probably the right yeah. way to express it. It's, it's sort of taking that energy and using it for something useful or positive at the moment. I guess and, and again, even taking it and using it might be seen as an interruption. I will take it and I will use it. Yes, I, allow it. Ta da! Yeah. But we'll get faster at this. You see, we do things that slow it down. You know, I mean, there's something big and fancy here, and Bobby hears it. He won't even hear it. He stopped it cold. Not me, kind of thing. Robert. Here's the same. Did you turn the heater on, Katya? Katya, turn the heater off. Uh, where are we? It's noisy. Oh, I lost something. It's noisy. Now you know. The new machine. It heats, but it's noisy. Uh, I, anyway, whatever we were talking about, uh, uh, that we we tend to put up little blocks, even in next and next, we have a little tendency to put up little blocks that we don't need. Uh, later, we could get amazingly fast where here comes something, whatever, boom, and it's all there, and you haven't in intercepted. It's a straight shot. Uh, no one's going to intercept that ball. That makes sense. Yeah. So with a little practice, we can get there and get there faster. Yeah, make bigger swoops. Oh, sensei was good. I think he could almost say Shazam. <laughs> uh, but don't worry about the speed, people, because they'll try to be speedy with their idea. And it really won't be. But with a little practice, this gets faster. Okay. Uh, that's why I asked Mike to uh, kind of like he did, uh, uh, if we put a ruler here, 12 inch ruler, uh, he did one inch at a time last week. So fine, no, no problem. But uh, let's not get caught up inside the ruler a certain way. Uh, here, we went past the ruler. Yes, there's a ruler. Now the idea and the energies are before, underneath, supporting the ruler. They're before the ruler. When they're there, yes, the ruler will do all of that, but they're inner supportive or inner glowing or something. Blah, blah. Anyway. Sensei, thank you very much. We are at eight o'clock yeah. straight up. Definitely. Thank you. Good night, thank people. You, See you next week, and then we'll take our holiday break. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Nadir Sensei. sensei. Yes, good night, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Good night, everyone. 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 Thank you, Sensei